drinking extremely hot drinks may increase your risk for cancer. The details just published today by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Well, we want to know about this one. Mm -hmm. We bring in Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi to see which drinks we're talking about and how hot are we talking. I know some people, some of my patients have scalding drinks, so they think it's like a badge of honor. So here it is. A group of 23 international scientists analyzed data on the carcinogenicity, which is a fancy word saying how much cancer it can cause of hot drinks and they stated that the temperature of hot drinks at 150 degrees or hotter increases the risk of cancer of the esophagus. Now esophageal cancer is the eighth most common form of cancer worldwide and can be fatal and for those of you who don't know what the esophagus is, it's the long hollow tube that runs from your throat down to your stomach and it's pretty important. Now, what kind of drinks are we talking about? I mean, we drink hot coffee every day, but yeah, that's part of it. You know, researchers, researchers looked at tea, coffee, and other hot beverages. And for people like you who are coffee lovers, you can actually be happy at the news I'm about to share. That scientists reviewed over a thousand studies found inadequate evidence that drinking coffee was carcinogenic. Mm. So they included that it was a beverage, it's uh, uh, the temperature of the beverage, and not the beverage. Itself. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So what comes out of your coffee maker isn't doing it? Exactly. Okay. You know, okay. The, the thing is that the chronic irritation of the esophagus can. can contribute to DNA changes. So two hot liquids can actually scal cause scalding barns, uh, burns and potentially injure the esophagus, injuring the cells and then can lead to esophageal cancer. So my prescriptions, number one for cancer prevention, avoid smoking people please. It causes cancer, heart attacks and stroke. Also, secondhand smoke, for those of you smokers or people around you, can cause asthma and breathing problems. Secondly, watch your sun exposure. Make sure, especially in this, uh, this time of year, wear sunscreen outdoors to protect yourself all the time from harmful rays. And then eat nutritionally. We always talk about eating a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables every single day. And finally, get proper screenings. Please visit your doctor and find out what tests are right for you based on your age, gender, and your risk factors. So if somebody's sitting at home worried right now, what are the symptoms and signs Stop of it. a cancer? Yeah. yeah, so symptoms I'd like to keep an eye on for are difficulty swallowing, weight loss without trying, chest pain, or burning or worsening indigestion or heartburn. But early esophageal cancer can often have no symptoms. So I'd suggest be your own health hero, take giant steps toward living a healthy lifestyle all the time. Good, good advice. Well, Thank all right. You. Thanks so much, Doc. My pleasure. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. You have a live Snapchat going, Dot, right now? My, my Facebook Live. Yeah. Facebook Live. He's there.